So here we are on a beautiful sunny February day and it is over 20 degrees outside. It's almost balmy. So we're gonna go out. Uh, we had went to church this morning, gonna go out as a family. And I tell you what, you ever wanna test the tenacity of a marriage? Start a business together. Me and Justin find ourselves in a little bit of a lover's quarrel. I wanted lake trout, he wanted crappies. Needless to say with the kids along, we're going for crappies, so check it out. Well, there's no house. And here we are again. Another live episode of Finn Wheezy Outdoors. How do you always say that? <laughs> what do we got down here, Finn? Show Daddy. Show Daddy. Got a four-wheeler, snowmobile. This guy's wearing shorts. That guy's wearing shorts. He's got a freeze. <laughs> He's not from shorts? the north. Oh, do we got bass on the ice? Yep. Oh, boy. Hey, I even see a walrus. Even in the Arctic of Minnesota. Now find the camouflage polar bear. Oh. He's right there. Oh it's covered in snow. He's camouflaged. What do you think of that? Tim? Then tell Daddy what you got going on. I got a lot of toys here. Oh, he's wearing, he's wearing a, oh, he's wearing a, a t-shirt. He's gonna freeze. Uh, well, Buzz Lightyear's not. Over here, we already found the school of fish. Actually got some moving in on us right now. Ooh. Turn it over. I just drilled the hole over here. Oh yeah, there's a big school of fish there. Yeah, I think we're gonna get to it. Alright. Hey Finny. What? You're going on there. What? Is mom on fish? Yep. I think she's getting down to him. Say what we said in the truck, Mama. Say it, Mama. Hey, not yet, bud. Not yet. I want to see what we said in the truck. They're gone already. Can I? Can I? Oh! Oh, Finn, you fell down. I just drilled out a new hole here. Did a quick pan on the pan optics and boy, they're moving fast today. If I can get down there. Just like that. Put their pink on you. He swims away. He swims away. Hey, stop it. I dunk ice on it. You dunked ice on the fishy? Dunk! Is that him right there? Yeah. 
they all left. Look at that, daddy found them. Meanwhile, I'm not as quick on my feet. <laughs> Okay, you can go hold them. Come over and hold the fish, man. I'm going up. I'm a little eager. I'm going up. Come on, buddy. I'm using the There you go. Let's see him, Finny. Wowza. Don't put him in the hole. We're going to have some fish tacos. Oh. You little peckerhead. Save them. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny leaves. <laughs> Watch him, honey. He's coming back. Fan, leave the poor fish alone. So we came out here with the anticipation to catch and keep fish. Of course, we're fishing 30 plus feet of water, so obviously these fish are undergoing a little bit of barrel trauma. And how you know you're raising your son right is when he's crying for keeping fish. <laughs> you wanted to throw him back? There we go. Oh, he's wrapped in transducer. Of course. Oh, they eater. Pretty much all the fish we're gonna catch out here, we're just gonna keep them, so we'll catch. We'll catch enough for ourselves to eat and then we're just going to keep them because we're fishing 37 feet of water and a uh, bear trap will just kill them if you let them go. So this is more of just a meat run for us. Meanwhile, we got the little guy back there throwing a fit because we haven't thrown the fish back. I guess I can't really complain. You know, you're raising them right at that point, but... Boy, water works. <laughs> yeah, they just fly right up to it. Oh. We tried this earlier with just a spoon. We tried plastics. We could not get them to go. We even tried tungsten a little bit. Tungstens are working, but we have to tip these things with wax worms today or else they will not hit it for some reason. And I normally never use wax worms on this lake. But again, it's the full moon. Maybe they're feeding really heavy last night. Who knows? But we're getting our we're getting fish. Let's see if I can get another one out of this hole before they move. Full moon explains the children's attitude at least. I should probably go grab the GoPro before he throws that down the hole. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh. We got another nice crappie or so. Oh. A nine ten inch. Perfect for what we want to eat. Hey, we've kind of chased them around a little bit. They were in a huge school be to begin with. I think the bigger school kind of moved away and then we got little groups of like 20, 30 fish kind of roaming around this area. We're just trying to chase them around. We go after, hit these a lot harder, but these two kids, it's pretty tough for them to get around, especially. Let's see, we got another one down there right now. Come on, there might be two of them coming in. See if I can pluck one of them out. Here. And here we have the good one. <laughs> yeah. You're the good one, ain't you? You being a good girl, sweetheart? What you think? Can I see a smile? Can I see a smile? <laughs> Where'd you put them? I put them in here. I dropped them in the hole. You dropped your Buzz Lightyear in the hole? Yeah, it's where the water is. He can't sink. 
Which hole did you drop him in? Well, guess what? You don't have Buzz Lightyear anymore. Huh? Hallelujah! We rescued Buzz Lightyear. Well, I've been dealing with kids and a rescue of Buzz Lightyear. But, I just walked back over here, and sure enough, we got one on the ice, and what else is happening, Skipper? A lot of little bluegills down there. Trying to get some of these crappies. The crappies are moving really quick, and then as soon as we find another school that's kind of holding tight, I think they're smaller bluegills. Back down there. I had to switch over to tungsten with a waxworm on it to actually even get bit. I got three left on the screen. These ones don't want nothing to do with it. Check the live scope and see if we can find a different school around here. Maybe a reason why. And there you see in the distance, we have a offspring of a wheezy in his natural habitat, making his way through this cold tundra. What are you doing, Ben? <laughs> Don't fall! What do you call that? What do you call that? Whoa! Talk about up close and personal. Welcome to Wizard Doors! Now you gotta think of something else to say. Mm -mm. No. What, you're not gonna think of anything else to say? No. Don't drop mommy's phone. You know, you drop mommy's phone, I'll put all your toys in the lake. No, you won't. <laughs> I wanna. Let me tell you, Mama. Of course you do. I want a bear hunting toy, Mama. A bear hunting toy? So I came to check the live scope, and sure enough, there's fish right below it. So I was going to give her a try at these. I'm going to drop one down. Once in a while, I get a fish, too. <laughs> get a glimpse of that. <laughs> Mama, help me. Staying over there. We're sitting over there. Hands up in the air. <laughs> He's having a moment. There we go. There we go. Mama, where are 
Hey, we're right here, buddy. You see us. <laughs> well. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I caught my fish. And obviously you guys can hear my name being called right now. So I'm gonna let the skipper take over this hole again. And I'm gonna go get fish. There, still down there. Let's see if we can catch a couple of these. I gotta get a wax worm out again. I hate using them, but. What's going on, Finn? Where's the gloves at? I just found the camera, Mama. You can hold the camera. Just make sure you. Oh, I'll just leave it there right now. Hold on. Daddy's gonna get down there quick. Daddy, get down there first. The fish are already leaving. Hold it. You got it? Good What's job. What's going man. on, Daddy? You're doing a good job, Finn. What's going on? Well, I'm trying to fish. Oh, they're coming back, Finn. You better be ready for this. Oh, look at that. Got my cameraman over here, little Finn. You good cameraman? Huh, Finn, you good cameraman? Yep. Hold up the camera. Whoa, another crappie. Zoom it in there, buddy. Okay, Bring it over ahead. here. You got it, there you go. Good jobs. Nice old crappie here to eat. Catching a lot of eaters today, aren't we, buddy? You wanna hold it? Yeah. Can you put it back? Nope, we're gonna keep these because they're all coming out of deep water. Well, I thought we were gonna keep the little ones. Well, whatever we catch, we have to keep because they're coming out of that deep water. All right, put it right there and get the camera back over there. I'll put it right here. All right. <clears throat> All right, cameraman. You got us both? You got me in there? All yep. right. It's fully charged right now. Yep. Here, get over here. Oh, the fish are, fish are kind of gone. Might have to move again. I already moved on. Most of them. There's a couple there. I'm gonna check the live scope and see where they went. Just keep moving on us. Those are moving in here. Oh, yeah, there's one. Let's see if we can get him to bite. Oh, just had him too. Moved up a little shallower here. They started going towards the evening bite here. They started going towards this, towards the edge of the break a little more in like 29 feet of water. Oh, still being a little picky though. They're not really aggressive. Here we go. There. Let's see what we got. Doesn't feel too big. Probably just another eater. This lake is full of eaters. Yeah, another eater. Perfect. It's holding 10, 11 inch crappie there. Kind of typical for this lake right now. See if we can get down there. Ah, shoot, I don't even got one on the screen, but. Give it a shot and see what happens. Like when we, like I said earlier, when we started this, this school was massive. There was tons of fish, all in like two big groups. They've just kind of split up after we started chasing them around a little bit. I think they've been pressured. 
There's a bunch of other holes that have been punched out in this basin too, so. And that was not from us, that's been, I haven't been out here for about a month, so. There's been other people fishing it. Boy, I might have to go check that again. Like I said earlier, we're talking about bear trauma, killing fish. Well, fish, if you're gonna be chasing any fish, usually like panfish and walleyes and stuff like that, they're gonna be, if you're catching them like 25 feet to 30 feet plus of water in the wintertime like this, or even sometimes in summer, bear trauma is what it is. It's, uh, these fish come up, they hit the bait and you bring them up, their eyes will bulge out, stomachs pop out of their, out of their mouth, it's it's the pressure down there. But uh, some people think, you know, just put them back down there and let them go. They'll swim back down and everything will be fine. No, it's not really that way. They they literally die. I mean, they might swim back down, but they're gonna float back up eventually. Oh, there's another one. Well, sure enough, I'm talking. It's all right though. But so if you're, I mean, we do. We fish these spots where it's deeper water like this. And uh, we fish these, we know that we're only going to catch what we're going to keep just due to that. So if you come out here and say it limits like 5, 10 crappies, catch your 5, 10 crappies, move on, go somewhere else. I mean, there's bluegills to chase, there might be, you know, whatever you want to do for the day. But uh, yeah, don't, don't come out here and catch 100 of these things and throw them back in this deep water because you're just going to kill them. I mean, that's all that's going on with that. So. Just a good thing to remember. I'll catch what you're gonna keep, throw them in the bucket, move on for the day. But if you wanna catch, I mean, bluegills, crappies, perch, all that stuff, and uh, wanna catch and release, just go find the edge of the basins and fish them in that less than 25 feet of water. I mean, we got there's a lot of lakes out there that have that bite where you can get on a weed line or just the edge of a break and you can catch them and throw them back. Get back down there on these fish. I don't see any down there right now, but that one kind of just popped up out of nowhere, so. Well, it's a nice February day out here. It's over 20 degrees and the sun was shining. That sun's going over a treetop right now. Oh, geez, another one's popping up. <laughs> see if we can catch them. There we go. beats running them running and chasing them down you can get them to come back constantly like this I don't know I was just kind of sitting there yeah, he's moving up to it just like that kind of left I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the live scope and the auger and I'm also gonna run the rod and the vexlar and we're gonna just chase them down complete our batch of fish we need for the day. Oh, got them coming up already. <sighs> and that spooked them. Oh, here comes another one. There, oh. Peckerhead. Yeah. I do have them. Look at that. Man, there we go. Bad, bad crappie there. I see fish tacos in our near future. Being a little bit more pickier now that we're getting into the evening hours. <laughs> you know, a lot of movement will bring them in and they'll come up and sniff it and turn away. But again, if you slow that jig down too much, they want nothing to do with it. So right now it's just a matter of finding out what they like and how they like it. As Justin said earlier today, we actually switched over to waxies, which we hardly ever use waxies anymore. Um, generally plastics. 
But these fish, that's all they wanted today. So, oh, there's one coming in higher up. Let's find out what he is. It's a big mark, bigger. They're really, really soft lipping it right now. They're might be coming to the tail end of their feeding frenzy, but they're still interested enough to I got about five marks down there, all looking at them right now. Which one's gonna take it? Maybe it's this guy. And there he was. Oh, I still got him. Nice respectable crappie. Not bad at all. So, well, that about does it for us. Like we said, this is a lake we come to when we want to get a quick meal. We call it grocery shopping. Um, just because of the depths that we're fishing, we know we're killing these fish. Well, we got just enough to make a batch of fish tacos and so this, we came out here for just a couple hours today, but we're all ready to go home, get something to eat. Kids are already loaded up. So guys, we're gonna keep more videos coming at you and who knows what's gonna be on them. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, like and share if you guys like what you're seeing. Other, until then guys, take care and we'll see you out there.